Hello everyone. Last week I took delivery of a brand new 27 inch iMac and shared with all of you the installation process that I went through to get it set up. Two key parts of that installation process. One was the transfer of all of my data using Time Machine and that worked extremely well. A lot of the data, the apps, the programs, everything came over without issue. In fact, it was the easiest transfer I have ever done from going from computer to computer. The second thing that I showed in that video was the installation of an additional 32 gigabyte of RAM. It turns out everything was working fine, but I did get a couple of comments where people mentioned that I should have put them into different slots in order to maximize the run speed that those chips are capable of giving me. So what I'm going to show you here for the remainder of this video is the process I went through to swap those couple of chips around in order to optimize things. Why I'm doing that and why it's needed, I'm going to leave that up to you technical types to go out and research all of that. I'm just taking it on faith that it's going to help and that it's the proper thing to do, so that's why I'm going ahead and doing it. Okay, I'm going to swap out those two chips and like before you have to make sure that the computer is off and then I can just go and unplug the power cord so that I can get at the little button that I have to press in order to open up that little door there. Okay, once that's popped open now I take those two uh, two things there and I put them apart in order to drop the tray down. Now what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to swap this bottom one, pull that chip out, and I'll set it down here for now. And then I'm going to take this top one out. Okay, so then I have to pull this top one out and move it down to the bottom. And snap that in and then I'll take the one that used to be on the bottom and I'll now put that up top there it goes so it looks like now I've got the two 16s on the bottom and the two fours on the top spread this out snap this back up into place And then I should be able to make sure everything is in there tight. And I should be able to pop this cover back on again. Plug in my power cord. And I should be good to go. Shown here on the slide are the before and after arrangement details and uh, underlined in red are the numbers that show what the speed differences are and as you can see the current setup the after setup has a much higher speed value so that's it for now i'd like to thank all of you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one